What's up, Grizz Nation? Kelsey and Jessica here, recapping an amazing year by the Memphis Grizzlies. We are going to start with the top four dunks of this year. Jessica? Ridiculously hard to narrow these down, by the way. And like the ones that end up not being in it, you're like, how does this not make the list? But alas, we're cutthroat here. So oh. what do we have first? Oh. All right, we're gonna go number one, John Morant over Malik Beasley. I feel like everyone's gotta know this one, so let me set the scene for you. It is the end of the third quarter. Ja waits up top, like almost at the, the half court line, waits up top until seven seconds left on the shot clock, rejects the screener, finds the open lane. Beasley, who knows what the heck he was thinking, steps in to take the charge. Ja elevates the way that Ja does, cocks it back with his right hand, and then boom. Slams it down, quick flex after, of course, because, you know, you gotta. Of course, when you have a dunk like that, you have to have a flex of some kind. But I think it just goes back to, you look at the crank and then the audacity of the decision to do that in a playoff game. Like, those are the kind of playoff moments that become iconic, that add to the lore of a player's playoff resume that they'll eventually go back and look at. And like that dunk on Malik Beasley, we will always go one. back to that. It's one the of one. the best of the year, if not the best. Except Josh said it was over a guard, so it, was right. it doesn't count. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so we could obviously fill a list with a lot of John Morant dunks, but we have to sprinkle some things in because John Morant's not the only one with hops. And if you talk about sneaky hops on this team, it's gotta be DeAnthony Melton. He's been trying to tell people he has them and he put them on full display March 28th, a first half against the Golden State Warriors where the Grizzlies were outscoring them 63 to 37. And there's one minute left in the half. And so what are you gonna do? You're gonna have six foot two DeAnthony Melton decide to go up on six foot nine, Kevon Looney, because that's a decision that everybody likes to make. But DeAnthony Melton does, and he has the jumps to do it, and he throws down a dunk that puts him in the atmosphere of Grizzlies dunkers who have highlights that make this top four list at the end of the year. I remember watching this one and being like, oh, Melt, okay. Uh, let's go back to Jaw real quick, because again, you said we need to sprinkle some other guys in there, but Jaw deserves two in the top four, so we're doing it. Uh, this one is up against Jakob Pertl. I remember this one very well. It was at home. So I can't wait to hear your reaction of like what you were thinking when it happened. At home, Jaw was like a one on three out in transition. He goes up like from kind of halfway up the, the key. Jakob jumps with him, why? Again, Jaw cocks it back, slams it on him. That was probably, if we're talking posters, that was probably one of the best posters of the whole year. Like they printed that one out up in the studio here at GCM, so. Sometimes Beautiful. business decisions are made and sometimes decisions are not made. And now you're Pearl and you're on a poster and that's what happens to you if you make that decision. But no, it was a fantastic night here at FedEx Forum and it was just one of those like buzziness factors. It's a random game against the Spurs. There wasn't a whole lot of excitement going into it. And then next thing you know, John Morant's going off for 52 points in the win and that dunk kind of symbolizes what the entirety of the night Plus, was. Plus the reaction of the bench. If you Pretty wanna well. look at Dylan Brooks' reaction on the bench, Brandon Clark jumps on Jaron's back on the bench, the team, you know, they love it. You love a good poster. You sure do. And like we said, you could have had a ton of John Morant dunks. The fact that he had a windmill dunk and it's not gonna make this list. <laughs> Too bad, so sad, because for our last one, we go to Santi Aldama. And how can you not have this dunk on the list? Because you go back to April Fool's chills. Day. Ah! April Fool's Day, and the Grizzlies bench squad comes out and punks the best team in the NBA at the time, the Phoenix Suns. And in the midst of it, you have Santi Aldama, who's playing in just his 30th NBA game of the season. He pump fakes past Jay Crowder. He blows past DeAndre Ayton and throws down a reverse jam. And Kelsey, you talk about bench reactions. If we were ranking bench, bench reactions, this I think this one's number one from the this year. The because winner. from everything, including Jaron Jackson Jr. like jumping into the arms of DeAnthony Melton and Steven Adams, it was just beautiful. Yeah, who, who does a reverse dunk down the baseline? Santi Aldama. Santi Aldama, guys. That is our top four dunks of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We want to know yours too, and make sure you are tuned in to all of our coverage of the off season, of the regular season. We'll see you guys on grindcitymedia.com.